So this is the Kaiser Militaw fixed blade. This is an eight inch fixed blade knife with about a four -ish inch blade. And today we're gonna do a first look video, kind of give you an overall impression of what I think on this thing first look. I have not had this knife for very long, so I don't have long-term review on it, but I will say coming out of the box that I am a fan. So let's take it down to the table and just kind of get an overview of the knife, let you know what I think about it. Real quick disclaimer, Kaiser did send this to me for free, but they have no input on my content. So these are all my own opinions. With that said, let's take it down to the table and take a look. Here you are looking at the Kaiser Militaw. This is a fixed blade knife from the Militaw line. And this thing comes in total of about eight inches. Let's get the measurements out while we can. We've got about eight inches on the knife. Blade length on this thing about 3.83 inches. So overall, this is an eight inch fixed blade knife with a belt mounted Kydex sheath, classic overall design, drop point blade, all the things. Speaking of the blade, the design is clean and classic. Standard drop point style blade, 3.83 inches on the blade length. Cutting length is about just under four inches. The design has jimping on the rear of the blade. It's in key locations for your thumb. So if you're holding a knife like this or first finger, if you're doing more meticulous fine cutting type things. Material on this particular model is Nitro V steel. It's also got a sharpening trail at the, here at the base of the blade so that you can make sure that you're getting the entire length of the blade sharp when you're resharpening. A smooth cutting edge all the way down makes it a great option for like hunting, fishing, or just everyday carry. The handle on this thing, I love actually the design of this handle. It's got really like hard straight lines. Um, so the overall, just like the look of it, the design of it is really cool, but the finish is nice and easy to handle. Everything on the edges is all rounded off and relatively thin profile. So it makes it really easy on the hand. It's got a lanyard loop here at the base if you're into that kind of thing. And everything's held together with, I believe these are T8 screws. The scale materials look great together. You've got black G10 with a micarta inlay and the texture is really nice. I don't see any kind of issues with slippage or if you were to like get it wet or anything like that. Texture on this thing is really nice. Moving on to the sheath, the sheath is a clean design. It's got a nice like thin profile made out of Kydex. It has a secure purchase on the knife, clicks in there perfectly fine, holds the knife no problem. When you want to remove the knife, it's got a little thumb tab up here on the top for easy removal. I think the size on this thing is overall small enough to be like non-invasive, but also offers, you know, a variety of different mounting points here. The buckle on it is fully adjustable. It's got a press button release on the bottom which folds open and reveals a bunch of different screw holes so you can change the mounting options as long as the distance between here lines up between here. I've measured a couple of these things. You can actually mount it between these two, between those two. Um, so you do have some mounting options. These tension blocks are actually removable and you can change based on these little holes right here, you can change where your support tabs line up. So if you want your support tabs a little closer into the center so that you can like get a nice press down, on your belt, you can absolutely change those here. Uh, this distance right here is two inches, so you're looking at a maximum of a two inch belt. And the only thing that I don't like about this buckle is that when it clips, because it's just a push button, I mean, it opens. The only thing that I would improve about this is that you could maybe stick some sort of a backup lock down here so that you can't push the action so that this thing doesn't come open unless you like pull a tab out or something like that. I don't know. Overall, I got to say the knife is, is really clean. I'm not like a super fan of fixed blades, but Kaiser's kind of a little bit winning me over with this thing. It feels really good. I like how thin profile it is because when you're holding it in your hand, oh, also in the finger trail, there's some uh, texture too. I forgot about that. Um, when you're holding it in your hand, it's really clean, really like it feels really nice. I got about standard size hands and if you're if you're putting your first finger in the finger trail there, you're gonna go bout right across your hand. Um, no fall off or anything like that. Still enough room for your lanyard loop to come out of the back of your hand. Um, I do like the fact that they've included jimping on in the very front so that if you're doing things like if you're using this for hunting or something like that and you're skinning and you just really need to get in there and uh, be precise with your cuts, you've got grip and purchase on the back of the blade. That's something they definitely did right. The hardware looks great. The overall design looks great. I love the, the clean drop point blade on this thing. I probably wouldn't every, every day carry this me personally just because I'm not into that thing, but I could absolutely see in this as a backpack knife or something like that. So my overall and first impressions on this thing is I, I, I really actually do like this. I'm probably gonna stick it on a backpack of mine and uh, see how things go. With that said, the only real objection to this thing is the belt clip. I love that it's a quick release, easy buckle. But this right here, just I feel like that's gonna bump on something. You're gonna lose your knife. That's gonna be bad. So if there was a way to fix a some sort of a little 
like secondary lock on this thing. That would be the only improvement that I would say. Other than that, fantastic knife by Kaiser. The Militaw fixed blade. If you're into fixed blades, I highly recommend checking this thing out. My particular model is the Nitro V blade with G10 scales, micarta inlay. I'll link it in the description below in the first pinned comment. That is an affiliate link. It does kick me back a little bit of commission and it supports the channel. I appreciate you guys if you do that. Um, if you would please like, favorite, comment, subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, check that one out right there. Uh, it reviews the other Kaisers. And as always, I will see you in the next video.